My first ride with the new Tailfin Aeropack setup was the 600k Odex ride, the final ride in achieving my goal of 2019, Super Rondon Air status. So a very important ride. Normally I wouldn't take a product I had not tested on such an important ride, so watch to find out what I liked about it and how it worked for me. For the 600k ride, I needed something like the tail fin to carry a little bit more than I had been previously. Now, right now I have it set up on Nathan's bike, as you can see. Um, the tail fin products, they are compatible with both through axle, which my bike is, and uh, quick release with Nathan's bike, which Nathan's bike is. Um, currently, my through axle for the tail fin is on loan with Jabig uh, on his world tour, so that's why I'm showing you on Nathan's bike the setup, but this is what I used on my bike. So what have I got here? I have got the new S series. So this is the Aeropack Carbon S with the rigid um, Aeropack. So there is a couple of different options now, which is really good because Tailfin are taking into account that different people have different priorities. Um, and some who don't mind a few extra grams are willing to take a little bit of weight hit for savings in money. So there's an alloy version of the rack now. So this is the carbon version with the rigid um, aero pack. It's the lightest version of what they have. So if you're racing and every gram counts, this is a setup you're gonna wanna look at. It's got nothing under here. It's just the pack, the pack itself is rigid. And then the uh, frame mount here that goes into the special axle that Tailfin have created so that bikes without mounts can have racks. Their other series, this is the S series, their X series that they have allows for the penniers to also be attached. So then you could have a setup where you have two penniers and a uh, top bag. Now this setup is 800 grams total, including the rack and the bag. You can take off these straps. They're detachable if you want to save, I believe that's 50 grams. And inside the bag, there is uh, some cov cover over the um, internals of the bag. So it's, you know, just to pad out the hard parts inside the bag so you don't have any rattling inside. You can remove those, that's another 40 grams of savings if you want. So they have really thought about those who count every single gram um, when they made this system. So if you're racing, you know, ultra endurance racing, that's really important to you. You've got the option to lighten up. I find the straps are handy for compression and also if you wanted to tuck something on the outside of the bag for quick access. So what I liked about this bag, absolutely no rattle, no sway, no movement. You forget, literally, you have anything on your bike and so you get to a hill and your carbon bike is a little heavier than normal. So same as the first version, it's the exact same experience. It's just such a phenomenal ride. It's something I cannot show you very well in video. I'll show you all the clips I have of Nathan going over bumps and the T1 isn't moving and this one is exactly the same. It is stable and rigid and honestly, you'll forget you have anything on the back of your bike. There's no rub. Uh, people questioned because of um, on my bike, it's the same. It's up to the saddle. No rub on my legs. I can't tolerate rub on my legs. Um, on the 400, unfortunately, I use my frame bag, which fits on my Brody, but not on my Canyon. And I had leg rub the entire ride and was so annoyed. So I really can't tolerate sway, rattle, rub on my bike, especially my carbon bike. So this didn't have any of that. It's as solid as the first version and it's phenomenal that way. I also love that tail fin. So I was talking to the designer and they believe that you should buy once. And I am a huge believer of that. I'd rather spend a little bit more money, get it right the first time, have something that lasts a long time. So they also believe that. And so I really like that ethos of the company. Um, they have made it so that if a part of your rack needs replacing, you can get that part. So in this new version, the hook down here is actually separate from the rack, whereas on the first version, it was all integrated uh, as one piece. So should you ever have a problem with your rack, it, you can just replace the part you have a problem with. They also have a five-year guarantee, so they you know back their product that way. And if you crash um, and break your rack in a crash situation, they will give you a discount on a replacement. So a great company that way. And the other thing they mean by um, buy once is that this rack will fit on nearly any bike. The profile is higher in the back here. There's way more clearance uh, underneath. So it's got a higher profile, meaning it fits a lot more tire widths, mountain bikes, gravel bikes. Um, so a lot bigger tires. And then if you wanted to commute with this and then use it on your road bike as well, if you had a weekend away and you needed to take some stuff, then it's compatible with both bikes. 
So that's fantastic. Um, this new one also, if you want to save some weight and some money and you don't want the uh, need the through axle because you have bolt-ons on your bike, this rack is also compatible with a bike with bolt-ons, which is super handy. It wouldn't have the quick release um, in that scenario, but if you don't need it, save yourself a little weight and a little money. So that is an option as well with them. So I really like their way of thinking that you can change the setup as it suits you, as your you know needs change or your ride style changes or you go on different adventures, this rack will go along with you for all of those. So I really like the fact that they're thinking that way. They say you can take the rack on and off in 10 seconds. I think you could probably take it on and off in 10 seconds. It takes literally no time. You just flip the hinges, off it goes. Uh, there's a hook here that you press the button in to release and it just uh, comes off pretty easily. This mount is suitable for carbon stems and for aero um, seat posts as well. So they've really made it friendly for any bike to use. So what would I change about this setup? Well, for me, there's just one thing I would change and I was talking um, to the designers about it. Now, I don't have a lot packed in here. It can hold a lot more. Um, it rolls and unrolls quite a bit. But for me, on my bike, I have to really compress this end and be really conscious that um, I don't have a lot of room necessarily between my top of my saddle um, and where the bag is attached. So I will have it narrower down here and then it would get bigger up on this end. So I just have to cinch it more on this end and pack it appropriately. But I think if they allowed this attachment to have different lengths so you could pull it back so further back from the saddle that would allow someone on a smaller bike to take advantage of the full volume of the bag. Other than that I, I can't fault this product. It's well made, it's waterproof 100% and I were poured on for seven hours on the 600k um, which also made me appreciate the um, ease at which you can access. So there's a side pocket here for keys and money and then on the other side there's access to the main compartment of the bag so you don't have to undo the straps um, which would take four buckles to get into the main compartment. You can, I just packed my rain jacket close to the this side of the bag so I could unzip it, pull out in the rain jacket when I needed it. Um, also put some food and gels and um, just, you know, my snacks close to that zipper as well. So ease to access uh, what I needed when I needed it. So love the thoughtfulness of that. I love the fact that you can, if you wanted to um, expand what you're carrying, you can use these straps and strap other dry bags to the outside of this bag. Um, so there's all kinds of options with this bag. Tailfin have really come through with making really good quality products that makes carrying things on your bike a lot more pleasant um, than other systems. Check out the uh, Tailfin website, the link is in the description below, and be sure to subscribe because I'll be trying the X series next, which is uh, their slightly more adaptable uh, rack that allows the panniers to be attached. As always, thanks for watching and until the next video.